Hello everyone, my name is Wolf Biom and today I am going to build a dinosaur. So without further talking, let's jump straight into it. I start creating a platform on which I want my dinosaur and the little scene around standing on. As simple as it is, it's just a cylinder out of dirt. I shape a few rocks out of dirt and then change it to a mixture of stone and anodite before I make the platform surface a bit uneven with Roxy Sniper's lift command and smooth it out a little again. For the ground I go with porcel, coarse dirt and grass, which I will later exchange with moss blocks. The rest of the surrounding I will build later, so it's time to start with the dinosaur. Basically it is a huge ball with legs and a tail, so I place one with world edit and go from there. I rotated it so it is a bit tilted, then I move it around to get it in the right place. For sure I'm no master with world edit yet, but it's good practice. Once I'm happy with its position, I go ahead and build the legs, neck and tail with Roxy Snapper Sphere command, the head is just a bigger ball. I simply stack the spheres until I have them roughly in the position I want them to be. Compared to its body, the head is really tiny. I reshape the body with the lift command, so I basically add and remove blocks until I'm happy. I focus most on the back right now because I want to add the plates and spikes on the back and tail without having to change the back again, because when the plates are in place it's kind of tricky. But as you will see, I need to do it anyway. For the plates I will use gold blocks instead of diamond blocks so that I can exchange them later easily. World Edit has a command where you can replace one block with another one, so I do that because I want the body and plates to be a different color. To build the plates, I start on one side where I decide where exactly I want the plates to be. Then I build them up and outwards before I build them out completely. This part I decided to build just by hand so that I have more control of the shape of the plates. As you can see, some of them have to go more to the side and they all have a different size and shape. The same goes for the spikes at the end of the tail. So now looking from the side, I notice the back needs to be a bit higher, so I move the top part with the plates a little up and fill in the gaps again. I need to do this a few times with smaller sections each so that I can maintain the curve on the back. The tail also needs to go up a few blocks, so I do that and blend it in again with the body. These seemingly small changes always make the difference. Then I continue to smooth out the body by hand until I am happy with how my dinosaur is looking. For the color I want to go with green and red, so I have a lot of options about which blocks I use. But for the body I mainly want to go with green terracotta and for the plates with red terracotta, so I place the diamond and gold blocks with those. Like this I will have to exchange very less blocks by hand. When I have that, I start to experiment with the block palette on the first side. I imagine the plates to be in a bright red at the tip, which then goes down into stripes on the body. Since we don't know how exactly the colors of the dinosaurs have been, I have a lot of choice for the coloring, so don't blame me. I first go for the outline of the stripes before I fill them in. In the middle they get to a darker brown and to the edges is the same red as on the plates. Then, so for the rest of the green parts, I use lime terracotta, slack green and green concrete for a tone in between. Of course, I also continue the stripes between the plates before I go to the other side. This side goes much more smoothly since I know what I want to do. So I first add red concrete, then red wool to the plates, then the stripes and the rest of the body. The eyes are just two pieces of wool, the head is so small I can't do much more. For the surrounding I decided to build a tree, so I stack again spheres, smooth it out and change it to a mix between jungle and oak wood. For the top part I built one piece and copy it a few times, I also rotate it. Then I built a much smaller and simpler version of this on the floor and also copy it a few times. Finally I lost my patience with the plants, so to add the final touches I just place a few blobs of leaves. Then it is time to have a look at the finished scene. I must admit, this must be one of my favorite builds so far, and I also learned quite a lot with this one. I hope you like it as well, thanks very much for watching, and until the next time, goodbye!